Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I've probably already done an intro um, explaining my house and so forth, but if not, welcome. Um, I am getting, I'm on a mission to kind of cook from my freezer and, and pull from my freezer and not just go buy something new for a new recipe, just to cook what I have. Well, I was in the freezer last night. I found a couple bags of the frozen chicken breasts that I had cooked every one of them out except maybe one or two or three, and there was like two bags. So, I've got those on to boil right here, or fixing to boil. I've just covered them with water. I'm going to put a sprinkling of salt, sprinkling of pepper, and a sprinkling of poultry seasoning. And we're going to get this on. I'm going to bring it to a boil, put the lid on it, turn it down a little bit to a simmer, and just let it simmer for a couple hours. I mean, I don't know. I don't really time it. Um, you're probably good and done after 20 minutes, but um, I let it cook longer for hours. If I have enough water, I check the water, but I let it cook long just so it's tender. So that's what I'm going to do, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So um, this is a guessing game, so just stay tuned, and we'll see what we're going to do. Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car. Real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside. Okay, everyone, I have drained um, the broth, kept out just enough for my dish. Um, and yes, I normally keep my broth, and yes, I understand we should keep our broth. Um, but I have a huge chicken canning day coming up, and I'm going to have more broth than I'll know what to do with, so um, I, I'm not worried about saving my broth. Uh, I, I'm just shredding this up with my fingers, and I have a little plate here that I'm putting any little scraps on. And I've, I'm just keeping it in this pot so I don't mess up another bowl or dish or anything. So... Um, that's all I'm doing. You can shred it. If you want to shred it with a um, hand mixer that gets it really fine, it depends on what I'm making, if I want it fine or not. I like chunks in my chicken pie, so um, I, I do it by hand or with a fork. Um, today, doing it by hand. So, yeah. All right. This was probably the equivalent of three good-sized chicken breasts. Uh, it was broken up into, some of them were like pieces, and some of them were whole breast. So, I'm saying this is the equivalent of like three chicken breast. All right, so I will bring you back. I don't think I need to start supper till a little bit later. So, I'm just going to put the lid on this, wash my hands, and wait a little while before we even start anything else on supper. I need to work on this house. This house is such a mess. It's almost to the point where it's a little overwhelming. Such a mess. So, I'm going to get to working on that. And I'll bring you back when it's time to finish up supper. Okay, y'all. So, I am out here in my front yard. I have two pretty pecan trees. And I don't know that I have ever paid attention to the pecans on them. Um, but this year, they're loaded. And so, I thought I'd come up here and pick out pick up some pecans so that's what I'm doing right now
Okay, guys. So I believe my little thieves are squirrels. In fact, I know they are. But there is just like a pile of the of the green outer husk. There's a pile of just the shells where the nuts have been removed. So the green will eventually turn dark. And then in the center, you'll have a pretty little pecan. So I'm just going to come out here two or three times a day and check it. So let's go in. Okay, y'all. It's a bad hair day and I'm just sorry. I'm just sorry. So I'm going to grab my frying pan. We're going to put this together. We're going to make a gravy. We're going to make, it's just going to be delicious. So let me grab everything, meet you over, back over at the stove. All right, I've got a stick of butter in my frying pan melting. I have a piece of sheet of puff pastry out here um, thawing. I need to get out my nine. Well, I think I may go a little bit smaller than a nine by 13. But you can definitely use a nine by 13. Let's see. Okay guys, you can definitely use a nine by 13. I'm using just the step down. I'm not even sure what size that is. Um, just so I don't have to roll out my puff pastry quite as far. Um, but yeah, this is the size I'm gonna use. But like I said, a nine by 13, which is pretty standard, is totally fine. All right, so to my butter, I'm going, well, I'm actually gonna let my butter brown just a little bit. I wanna get it there's nothing better than browned butter and so I'm actually going to brown it before I add in any onions um, and browning is just basically what it says where it starts to get a little bit browned so as soon as that happens I'll be adding in my onions and cooking that down a little bit and then we're going to add flour and chicken broth and make kind of like a thick gravy. Well, or a filling, not really a thick gravy, but a filling. And then we'll add in all our ingredients. Okay, I'll bring you back once the butter gets brown. All right, I know you can't tell it, but you see there's some little pieces of brown in here. Um, that's where I want it. And the smell of the butter intensifies. So I'm gonna add in our chopped onion and saute that for a little bit. I'm gonna turn the burner down just a touch. All right, we're just gonna saute these onions up. Look, you can definitely see that the butter had browned now. Oh, that makes it heavenly. they're good and sauteed up. So what I'm going to add in now is about a third of a cup of all-purpose flour. You could use self-rising, that's fine, it doesn't matter. I always fry in self-rising and when I make a gravy I always use all-purpose. Not exactly sure why that is, but now I'm gonna cook this just for a minute to get the flour taste out, that raw flour taste. Um, it definitely has a definite flavor. So I want to cook it and brown it for just a little bit before I add in my chicken broth. Now to my chicken broth, I did add a little bit of chicken base um, or, or if you have bouillon, you can use bouillon. Um, I added that in. Um, just to give it a little bit richer because I didn't have any bones. I didn't have much seasoning. I didn't use I didn't use celery or onion. I just used salt, pepper, and poultry seasoning in my chicken. And so there wasn't that depth of flavor. So I did add some of the chicken base to the chicken broth. Okay. You see how that flour kind of browned up as well? All right. Now we're going to add in three cups of 
chicken broth. And because I am right-handed, <laughs> I'm going to add a little and stir a little. Let's go on in with it. That deeper yellow at the bottom, that was some of that chicken base that had settled. All right, and I'm going to bring this back up to heat, to temperature, to high, and um, let this thicken. Once it thickens, I'm going to turn the temperature down and add in some heavy cream, the chicken, and the vegetables, and it's already thick. And you can always add more if you need to, or water, or whatever. So, um, all right, I'm going to add in my heavy cream now. I'm going to add that in. I'm going to add in my vegetables. This was just frozen peas and carrots and it's two cups worth. Um, you can use the one that has the green beans in it, um, whatever you want. I just, I'm using what's in my freezer. That's what this is all about. Okay, so here's where you want to salt and pepper. And y'all, when I do anything with chicken, I use a lot of black pepper, but that's personal preference. If you don't like black pepper, don't use it. Woo, I think I got some in my nose. All right, and now we're gonna add in some salt. in this chicken. Might as well go for all of it. And always add more juice. If you add too much of anything, this is something easy to fix. Really simple and easy to fix. All right, now right here at this section, I want to give it a quick little taste just to be sure I've added enough salt and pepper. So I'm gonna get a piece of chicken that's emerged in that gravy. Perfect. If I added anything, it would be black pepper, of course, but I can add that at the table. All right, so one more thing to add in here. One more thing. And this is probably an odd ingredient for most of you for chicken pie, but oh, I just think it makes it wonderful. And that's, I'm going to add in about a cup of cheese. So good. All right. Let's give that a stir. And then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to roll out my puff pastry. Now that's a filling for a chicken pie right there. So good. I made that other, the southern chicken pie where the the paste, the the batter kind of puffs up. I made that kind the other day and everybody was, you know, a lot, not everybody because a lot of people know what that kind of chicken pie is. But then there were some people that was like, where's the vegetables? Well, here you go. Here's your one with some vegetables in it. Okay. All right. Let me go over here and we'll get our puff pastry ready. All right, I've got just a little bit of flour. I didn't mean to put quite that much. You really don't need a whole lot because it comes already floured. 
where you can actually see the flower. I'm not sure this is quite thawed enough, but we're gonna make it work. And I'm just gonna take my rolling pin and roll it out a little bit. And you're gonna to have to put some pressure on it, especially if it still has, is, has a little bit of, you know, if it's not quite warm enough yet. And you wanna be sure to go both ways because you want it to um, fit the pan. We're about good there. All right, I'm gonna spray, I'm gonna spray my pan, and we'll fill it up. Okay, everyone, I have my um, pan ready here. So we're just gonna bring this over. a little bit of water almost okay and you just kind of pinch the edges it will shrink up um, it did on me last time but that's okay there's still enough in there It's still fine, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's still gonna be fine, even if it shrinks up, and it will. All right, let me get a knife and cut some vent holes in it. And as you can see, it's really full of of the filling so I'm going to put a cookie sheet under it um, just to catch any drippings that may bubble over because it is really full because this is probably meant for a 9 by 13 I just did not want to wait for my puff pastry to thaw to the point where I could roll it out that far so okay and I like a thick puff pastry I don't really want a thin puff pastry so let me grab a cookie sheet. All right, she's going in. Hey, and somebody said something the other day. They said, it looks like you need some new cookie sheets. Yo, I work hard to get it to look like this. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Now, if I'd been doing something really fancy tonight, I would have did an egg wash or milk wash or something on top, but just going with it tonight because we're just eating out of the freezer. I'm just trying to clean out the freezer as we go. And so with that being said, we're having chicken pie with puff pastry and tater, not tater tots, um, hash, hash rounds because <laughs> they were in the freezer and, um, it's a work day around here. We're getting ready for the chicken stew. Isaac is already home from work and he's out there helping his dad do some things. And so I'm just making us a quick supper. It's turning cold. Tomorrow is going to, today's been warm. It's been like in the eighties today or not really the eighties, the high seventies, close to 80. And tomorrow it's gonna be the highs in the mid 50s. I mean, that is a drastic drop. So we are going to, I'm gonna be frigid tomorrow. 
So hopefully we'll have some leftover chicken pie to warm us to the bones. But tonight it's just potato rounds or hash rounds or whatever you want to call them and chicken pie. I don't even have tea made. So maybe I can make some tea real quick while that's baking. Let me do that. It needs to sit a while, I know, I know, but hey, it's better than nothing. Okay, everyone, here is this beautiful chicken pie with puff pastry, and it didn't really shrink much at all, just a little bit, maybe down here on the end. Um, so now we're just waiting for the guys to come in so we can give it a taste test. So the guys are in cleaning mode outside, and so I just did this easy, quick supper hash browns as a side dish that's it I mean there's this is nothing fancy at all um, but Bryant mentioned to me one day says why don't we just eat out of the freezer why you know why are we going to the store to buy more meat and sometimes it was just easier for me to go buy more meat than it was to dig through the freezer. But I took him up on a challenge. I took it as a challenge. He didn't challenge me, but I took it as a challenge that, hey, let's start cleaning out that freezer and eating out of the freezer. Now, of course, everything in there is probably no longer good. Things have gotten freezer burnt, I'm sure. And as I find those things, we'll toss them. Um, but when I find things that are good, we're gonna eat out of the freezer, and that's what this whole entire meal is. The chicken was leftover um, chicken that, not leftover, but they were pieces um, of chicken that were in the frozen chicken bre breast bags, and they were uh, had two bags, and they had just little pieces at the end with an occasional breast, and so I used that. My vegetables I found in the freezer, and the hash rounds, I found them in the freezer. So the only thing that didn't come out of the freezer was my butter and flour and milk. The puff pastry was in the in the uh, freezer. It was actually a leftover piece. It was, you know, it comes with two in a pack, and I had used one, and I had not used the other. Well, this is the other. So, okay, as soon as the guys come in, we will uh, give this delicious chicken pie a try. Okay, everyone, the guys are in, and here's my plate. I fixed me a little plate. You can't see that. There you go. Look at that. So good. All right, so Brian's going to, I'm going to fix him a plate, and we're going to see what he thinks. Okay. Hey, 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 everybody. He's ready to give it a taste for you. Here we go. Y'all ready? Me and my bad hair. Here we go. Chicken pie. What do you call that? Chicken pie with puff pastry. Okay. All right, here we go. Really cool. And the the mix is from scratch. Like I added flour, made mm -hmm. the little gravy, and I mean everything's from a browned butter. Oh, did you really? Mm -hmm. That's really good. Hard to believe that was made out of like a lost treasure I found in the. You never know what you find in that freezer. Freezer. Mm -hmm. That is really really delicious. Simple, right. simple and amazing. the hash browns were really good. And I think they came from, from what, Audi. What brand? I think, um, I'm not sure, but I think it was Audi. It is right here. It's I'm very, not sure. The very soothing. Yeah, comforting. comforting. Yep. Okay. So, all right, we're going to go eat. Y'all have a great a win -win. night. Thank you so much for watching the Farm and Pastor's Wife. And remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.